Hi and hello everybody, welcome to part 2 of the tutorial on installing Mac OS X in Windows PC using VirtualBox. So in our last tutorial, we saw as to how we can install the Mac OS X uh, L Capitan in our uh, PC using VirtualBox. In this tutorial, I am going to take you through as to how you can install the bootloader and uh, install a proper keyboard and a mouse for our virtual operating system. So let's get started and before that you need to download a set of files and the links for the same I have given it in the description below. So once you are done with the downloading of those files we will get started and now go to devices on the menu bar of the virtual box choose optical drives and then select choose disk image. It will open a window for you to select a disk image select the bootloader iso file that you downloaded here i have bootload el on window virtualbox.iso select that iso file that you downloaded once you click on that you will have an uh, disk shaped icon on your right appearing on the desktop double click open that and copy the first second and third file onto the desktop select that and drag and drop to the desktop now extract the extra dot zip file as well as the kext wizard file the usb mouse and keyboard kext.zip file all the three extract all the three to the desktop itself double click on it it will self extract and open the hard drive l capitan retail by tech reviews so open the hard drive I have already copied the extras folder here so you need to do the same just drag and drop the extras folder click authenticate it will ask you for a password Type in your password and the copying is done. And now run the text wizard. In this choose installation, the second one from maintenance installation and choose uh, installation. And now open the USB mouse and keyboard text folder. Click on that, drag and drop here. Close the folder, uh, select the target disk, L Capital Retail, and choose install. It will again request for a password. Now then once the tasks are done it will say the tasks were finished and click ok and close this. Now you can shut down your Mac, eject the bootloader and shut down your Mac. Click on the Apple icon and choose shut down. So now we have assigned uh, proper keyboards for our Mac OS X 
and now next step is to install the bootloader this process is similar just like creating our uh, mac os x file what we created uh, the first part the process is almost similar so let's get started so click on the new icon here type in a name choose the mac os appropriate mac os click next assign a memory and then choose an existing virtual disk file from that click on the icon and choose bootloader.vmdk this needs to be downloaded and again as i told earlier the links are there in the description click create and now go to settings under settings system uncheck the floppy change the chipset to PII x3 and uh, remove enable EFI and hardware clock in real time processor is again two processors display allocate all the memory storage under storage add hard disk choose this icon to add a hard disk or uh, again it can be done from here click on this and choose add a hard disk and click on choose existing hard disk and choose the .vmdk file which we used in the first part for creating this OS X L Capitan use the same hard disk here in which we install the keyboard as well so rest all is good let's get started click ok and then start now the mac os has loaded and you can see the request for password type in your password and press enter and the mac os will load so the mac os x with the bootloader has loaded now now you cannot see the hard disk so click on finder preferences and choose hard disk then close the preferences now you can see two hard disks here so this now we come to the end of the part 2 of the tutorial part 1 we saw as to how we can install mac os x within windows using a virtual box in part 2 we saw as to how we can create a usb mouse and keyboard for uh, os x and along with it we installed a bootloader as well so this is the end of the part 2 in part 3 we will be seeing as to how we can fix display issues of the installed mac os x i hope this was informative and if you feel so please subscribe for more such videos